So you've got loads of followers and I know that people will ask you for advice and also tell you what's going on in their lives. What are you hearing uh, from people about the cost of living? The main concern is just general bills and the amount up and the rise of everything. Food, gas and electric, mortgage rates, petrol. People's wages are not rising at the same time as the bills are. And a lot of people are saying they're really concerned, obviously, with the interest rates on the mortgage because their mortgages are finishing. And when they took the mortgage out, it might have been, say, £1,500 a month and it's ending and it's 2500 a month. We've got to bring stability back to the economy because what we've had the last few years, you know, it's sort of, you know, poor decisions, especially like that mini budget, which made loads of commitments to cut taxes and all the rest of it. But in the end, there wasn't the money to be able to do those things. And all that happened, taxes didn't go down. In fact, taxes have gone up. And what also happened was that interest rates and mortgage rates went through the roof. And, you know, that sort of experiment with the economy, it was so dangerous. And still now people are paying the price of it. And that's why the first thing that I want to do if I do become Chancellor is bring that stability back to ensure that everybody gets a decent start in life, that parents have enough money to be able to put a roof over the family's head, to ensure that they can afford the basics in life and hopefully a little bit more, and that when you need schools, hospitals, GPs, that they are there as well. So you want to look at bringing interest rates down for day-to-day -day people with mortgages that are worrying. Is that something you are going to look into? So I want taxes, mortgage rates and inflation to be as low as possible. And that means, as Chancellor, not making commitments around tax or spending that you can't fund. Because if you do that, all that happens is that financial markets go into disarray and interest rates going up. And I want to be honest with people because I'm not going to be able to do everything that I might like to do. Of course. But people understand that, I think, because we've been through such tumultuous times the last few years. But everything I will do, I'll be explain where the money's going to come from. When the energy bills like went through the roof for the first time and my mum said to me, um, I'm not sure how I would have coped with that uh, yeah. when you were little because, you know, we didn't have a load of money to spare. And if my bills had gone up like that, I'm not sure how I would have afforded it. My mum isn't coping. My mum isn't coping with it. It's really, really, really affecting her. Like, it's really, really, really difficult. It does affect so many people. Yeah, and I think we've had direct experience of that. Mm. Uh, I think it does then affect, yeah, you know, how you look at things and absolutely, yeah, and understanding what people are going through at, at the moment, and and not just saying, oh, everything's all right, we've turned a corner. You know, for a lot of people, it's not all right. It's really not. No. Mm. You know, if we can bring that stability back to the economy, if we can help tackle the cost of living crisis, the difference it will make to so many people, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning, the chance to be able to do something to help people and make a difference.